Hello everybody, um, I'm going to be doing like a mini wig making series. Um, I realized with my last video that was like a helpful tip video, it was really fucking long. Nobody wanted to watch it, which is understandable. So I'm going to make wig making into like mini episodes if I stop talking eventually. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make a hot, like a hot glue wig cap, or how I make a hot glue wig cap, with saran wrap and hot glue. You're also going to need a rubber band, and of course your head. I normally make my wig caps um, with the head off the body, because I think you can get like a closer shape without the head on, I mean without the body attached. Uh, you can also do this with it attached. It doesn't matter. That's up to you. Whatever you're looking for I'm going to make him a short wig. So I kind of want It to be like the wig cap to be very close and around the perimeter So then I have the option of cutting extra off instead of having to finagle how to add more to it um, But yeah, that's it I'm just going to show you guys I well, before I start making noise, I do two layers of saran wrap and my hot glue is on high. Um, yes, my hot glue looks like it's about to catch my house on fire. Probably will. Um, but I do two layers and my hot glue is on hot. Is it going to melt the saran wrap? That depends on if you leave it, like leave the hot tip on the saran wrap, it will melt like plastic plus heat equals meltage. But if you don't and you just run it across, it won't melt. You can use more layers of saran wrap, but I don't like the inside of my wig cap. Like if the heat of the hot glue doesn't hit each layer, like the more layers you do, if it doesn't heat, hit each layer of the saran wrap underneath, it won't melt. So then when you take it off, there'll still be like loose bits of saran wrap inside. It makes a lot of noise. And if you take it out, it no longer fits correctly because the saran wrap creates like a barrier and it adds layer and thickness to like the shape of the head so then when you take those layers out it no longer fits like a glove like it should so I only use the two layers and from what I've done it doesn't hurt my doll head and all of the like the two layers get melted together so there's no like extra weird noises on the inside um, but yeah, that's it for that. Okay. Um, <clears throat> saran wrap is tricky. You've got to be careful to not let it stick to itself before you use it. Um, I don't know what else to say. I mean, this is kind of just what I do. And then with the first layer, I try to get it like to where it's as flat as possible. And if you want, you want like most of the crinkly bits to be either on the back or behind the ear where they can be smooth, smoothed out or covered up with the bulk of your hair that you're going to put on it. Um, seeing as I'm going to make this a short wig, I can go ahead and just let the crinkles be in back or like the folds. Um, I think like another thing you can do if you're like worried about melting your head, which I don't know what kind of volcanic level you have on your haku gun, it won't happen. But um, if you're worried, you can put like a cookie sheet, wax paper, I think that's what it's called, um, underneath the first layer. But you're gonna have to like cut and fold, cut and fold to where it fits perfectly. So then it doesn't create a lot of bulkage underneath because I find with saran wrap wig caps that don't have like any other anything in between the fit is far better than it is if you use like something else between the saran wrap and your head if that makes sense okay we're like four minutes in and I really don't want this to be super long because I feel like some people's attention span is short like mine, so yeah. 
Um, my saran wrap isn't in its little cardboard thing, so I use scissors to cut it. And then I flatten it here. And then I take my rubber band. I've used it for other things. I try to like thin rubber bands like this. I also use like the thick ones that you, you just normally see or whatever. Um, I also use those, but I find I can't get as close to the ears as I would like with the thicker rubber bands. So I try to use the skinnier rubber band, but the skinnier rubber bands do melt if you let the hot glue sit on it. If you can see what I'm doing, I'm sorry, my lighting is garbage. And there's like hot glue all over my blanket because this is what I normally sit and do my wigs. Um, but what I'm doing is trying to like even out the folds underneath. But you gotta be careful or you'll rip it, which is what I did here, but I'm not worried or pressed. I normally have the rubber band sitting here if I want this part of the wig cap to be made. I normally sit it here because it draws it taut to where I can get as close as possible here. And then I have it going behind the ears, around the ears, and across the eyes. Um, I think if you want, I guess if you want longer sideburns, you would go across the the nose, but I mean, I'm not, or if your rubber band's too loose, then I would say go across the nose, but I'm not looking to do that. Another thing to be careful for is clean wrap will take off a face up. Um, I have some painted dolls, so I don't try to leave um, the saran wrap on that long because it will take off like a top layer or just a layer of paint depending on how thick the face up is or the paint is. If that makes any sense, it's clean wrap. It's going to cling to whatever is on the surface and pull it off. It has pulled off like piercings and stuff. I'm planning on redoing his face up eventually. He's missing like a chunk of his eyebrows, so I'm not worried. Um, but yeah, plus once you put the heat on it, it activates more clingage. So I just want to warn you guys on that. But when it's as smooth as I would like it to be, There's like a yarn on this from a previous wig I did. Okay. When it's as smooth as I'd like it, which it appears to be, um, even if it's not as smooth as you want it, again, the hot glue is going to melt it and make it smooth, which is why I use this method. I feel like it gets as smooth as possible. And when I was making wigs with like regular glue, in saran wrap I feel like it wasn't doing exactly what I wanted okay so what you're gonna do I just go maybe a little further than what I would want the wig to sit at just so I have the ability to cut off the extra instead of having to add on and then I go around where the rubber band is like around and down and then stop here at the edge of the head and then go back around and as I'm I think this is the thing that some people don't do if you want your wig cap to be as smooth as possible um, I'm really gonna I'm sorry my hot glue gun looks like it's gonna catch my place on fire I've had this since I started making no before I started making wigs so it looks like this and I never turn my fucking hot glue gun off come for me in the comments it's fine I like to talk so it's cool but yeah it looks like death <laughs> Um, you're going to, I'm really going to try and put this on here. You're going to put it on here and then take the tip and smooth it out. So then there's no like clumps because if you just leave it, and like I said, mine is on hot, so it's going to come out like lava. Like it's really saying, don't touch me. I'm hot. So this is what you're going to do. I'm hoping you guys can see. I honestly don't know. Um, but see when I go over it, it's normally with a, with glue in between the tip and the saran wrap so it doesn't just melt the saran wrap away. Uh, if the hot glue is too hot, mine doesn't really work on low anymore. 
like it'll come out a bit chunky so the hot isn't really hot hot but if it's too hot it will melt both so just be careful like you know just be careful <laughs> but this is pretty much what I'm gonna do all the way through is I normally do like the circumference and then I do the middle part but seeing as I'm showing you guys what I'm doing I feel like I'm just gonna fill in and this is a people 65 boy head it's super fucking big because they have like the bobblehead syndrome it's fine okay you're just gonna keep doing it be careful because some of the since mine is on hot some of the glue is still uh tacky it's about to say it's still hot it's not hot it's just don't put your finger on it it'll pull some of the glue away and if that does happen just put the tip of the glue gun back on it and melt it back into shape um but yeah that's pretty much what i do for the wig cap I really didn't want this video to be super, super long, but you know, a bitch likes talking and whatnot. I mean, yeah. So this is gonna be kind of like a series. I'm gonna come back and show you how I make his wig. Um, if not his wig, because sometimes I just don't wanna record. I kinda wanna do my thing and just do it. Just do the damn thing is what I wanna do. But if I don't, it'll be somebody else's wig. I'm gonna do like a couple of them with different styles I kind of want to have him with a short um, short hair around the sides and then maybe like a pump with like a little a bit longer on the top so I can style it either way I'll do like different kinds of parting if that's something you guys are looking to see I mean if not it's nice to just have the information out there and I don't have to keep answering uh, via text but um that's pretty much it the wig is done I mean the wig cap is done and normally if you have like a chunk that's like standing out I normally just use the tip to melt it and then smooth it out uh, after it's cool to touch and it's not tacky anymore I will feel around to see if I've missed any patch of a saran wrap so it's just like a saran wrap piece and it's not covered in glue then I'm gonna cover it you can definitely tell once you touch it you can't really tell when you're looking at it because it's all clear uh, but that is what I'm going to do and as soon as this is dry and I have a nice lock you're not gonna smooth out the glue to where it's paper thin it's gonna rip you're just gonna smooth it to where it's not clumpy and bumpy. And if you're doing a short wig, you want it to be not too thin to where it's gonna rip, but not thick to where you're still gonna see the shape of the glue underneath your hair that you're gonna apply to it. If that makes any sense, I'm sorry if it doesn't. I'm going to even out the front a little bit more. Um, if anybody has any questions, please leave those in the comments so I can get to them. It feels like I covered everything. Um, after this, hold on, I did just apply some in the front. Okay, I'm going to take the rubber band off. And I tried to keep a rubber band because I'm running low. Normally, I would just rip these off if I didn't care if I was going to break the rubber band, but I'm trying to save, so that's what we're going to do. After this, I'm going to go even closer behind the ear because the rubber band blocks me from getting there. So I'm just going to go behind the ear so I can have as flat of a lay as possible. At this part, I normally just touch it because I want it to mold to it. Where the rubber band was molding it, 
to the head before like creating tension when you do it like this it doesn't have any tension so I just wait until it's cool enough to touch but not cool enough to where it's hard and I mush it down to where it's molding into the ear and I'm going to do the same on this side and if you guys know me you know that um, like what is a fingerprint what is pain it's fine Although this isn't hot enough for it to burn. Like I said, my hot glue gun is on hot, but it's more like it's on low. I feel like there's a clump here, so I'm just going to melt it and then press it down. And then if you want sideburns in your wig cap, and I find it easier sometimes to make like a sideburn out of like hair. Like to make a long piece, then short piece, and then another short piece to make it look like a sideburn. But sometimes you could just put them on your wig cap, like so. And you're gonna draw like, <laughs> you're gonna draw with the hot glue the shape of the sideburn you want. And then you're gonna push it down. I saw like some of the glue coming under my finger and making a clump, so I just went in there and pressed it down. But you gotta be careful with that because you're gonna make the sideburns thinner. So I end up going back over it with another top coat of hot glue to make it equally thick with the rest of the wig cap. Because if you press it down, it's gonna be flatter than the rest of the wig cap, if that makes any sense. I'm sorry if this doesn't make any sense. And I'm really annoyed that this video is already so long. <laughs> I could speed it up. Um, let me know in the future when I make more of this like mini series if you want me to speed it up and not talk. That's fine. I don't know if you're gonna be able to understand what I'm doing if I just speed it up or not. So let me know. And this is also gonna make the sideburns lay flat against the head. Cause sometimes it doesn't do that. Okay, and after this we should be ready to take the wig cap off and cut it, cut it down. I'm sorry for like my Vatican-esque music in the background. It was either this or nothing. I'm about to watch some sort of documentary on Princess Diana. Where's it, Princess Di? I'm not sure. Um, because I do uh, two layers, it kind of adhere, not adheres, like it makes some sort of like suctiony suction <laughs> onto the head. So all I do is just palm it like this and wiggle it, and then it comes right off. But you gotta be careful because mine is thinner because I do some short wigs, like short wig hairstyles. Wow, short wig hairstyles, so I don't want the wig cap to be bulky. Oh yeah, I totally forgot. With this head, um, it's coming off, like, don't worry. <laughs> It's just that part of the wig, I mean, part of the head has like hot glue on it. So like here, he's a Fable 65 head, like I said, but he's not on a Fable 65 body. So I had to like mod his neck and there's hot glue dangling off the back of this because like hashtag messy. Um, and because of that, the saran wrap plus more hot glue, they both adhere to each other. So that's what I was trying to like get together. Anywho, so this is what you're going to do. Okay. I try to remember like the layout of my wig. Okay. Normally you can tell exactly where the ears were because there's some sort of like bumpage here, if you can tell. Um, we're almost done. I just want to cut this out and then show you guys what it looks like on. I'm going to cut off anything that doesn't have hot glue on it and keep the shape of it even enough 
and because of the hot glue underneath there's like a hole here i know how to fix that if you want me to show you how to fix that i can in the next video but i feel like this video is already going on for far too long so i won't be showing you that here today i'm gonna cut around the ears and i only do like what's not covered in hot glue so then i can put the white cap on see where i want to like cut some parts off if it's too much um, I usually use a pen to outline where I want to cut and then I take the wig cap off again and cut off the extra glued parts that I don't want and then I go from there um, and be careful because the saran wrap does stick to hot glue which is why if you mod your head anyway with hot glue it's just going to be a bad situation I don't know, I forgot about that. And then we're going to put it back on the head. And now it fits like a glove. Like, that's what it looks like. I'm going to go around and see if I want to cut off any bits. But I think the fit is nice. I might cut some of these bits here off because I don't like when it touches the eyebrow. I like the clear spacage there but that's it for a hot glue wig cap um so yeah see you guys next time